Welcome back everybody to my first playthrough of Heavy Rain. Last time we did the trial, the first trial of the origami killer that he gave to Ethan to hopefully be able to save Sean. We drove against in the opposite direction on the highway for five minutes. In the end, the car crashed. We crawled out of it. We got a clue out of the, the you know, the little compartment. I don't know in the car we got some information and then we ran away from the cops because we were chased i think now we're in a motel i think with madison we haven't really played with her yet we only had a dream with her that she was being attacked in her apartment so let's see <laughs> crossroad motel wednesday 315 2.006 inches at six, apparently, roughly, give or take, six inches, the the kids drown. So we're one third in. Interesting jacket. I wonder how she is connected to all this. So she has insomnia, I wonder why. Okay, I'm just looking around. I know I'm supposed to go into a certain building, but... Can I just walk up there? I... Oh. Yeah, no, I should probably rent a room before I go anywhere. Unless I have like a date or something in a motel. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what's going on yet. But I'm pretty certain we're supposed to go in here. Hello. The Anybody atmosphere here? here is one of concern, as there is still no news of 10-year-old Sean Mars, who disappeared yesterday. A recent report indicates that the police are now treating this as another kidnapping by the origami killer. If this information is confirmed, he may still be alive, as the previous victims were all killed three to five days after their abduction. Obviously, time is running out fast for the investigators trying to find the child. I'm Michael Netty for ICN. Mm, God, yeah. Okay, let's ring the bell. Ding! Hello? <laughs> Hello, sir. Hello there, sweetheart. What can I do for you? I'd like a room. For you? Anything. <laughs> Feeling the register. Why is he like that? What's with his mouth? <laughs> she should not be here. She should not rent this room. And he's definitely giving me lots of... Relax, I just want to take some pictures vibes, you know, like... No, this guy is sus. Can I- can I change my mind? I can't change my mind, can I? Ugh. Is he on drugs or something with his jaw doing this all the time? Madison Page 27. Single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. I'm your courtyard. <laughs> okay, thank Thanks. you very much, sir. The pleasure was all mine. Oh, that's my That's for sure. Oh, my God. Awkward. Room receptionist. That obnoxious receptionist better not have a spare key to my room. Oh, God, yes. A lot of it leaves me in a cold sweat. 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. Oh, 201. I went the wrong way. Naturally. Are you cold? Hello, sir. Come on. Now is it this way? 
207, 205. Are you okay? Sir? Are you alright? Oh, that's Ethan Mars! I'll call an ambulance. No, 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 no. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. Sure thing. Okay, now I see how we're connected. She just stumbles upon him. Quick time events? This one here. There you go, sir. Have you got the key? Okay, I opened the door for him. Gotcha, gotcha. Are they gonna become an item? All right, what am I gonna do with him now? You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. I must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. <laughs> but it's sore as hell. <laughs> Your head is bleeding. It looks deep. Okay. What am I gonna do now? Maybe, maybe in the bathroom there is... Yeah, here. Medicine cabinet. Paracetamol. I should disinfect his cuts. Yeah, okay, cool. And then... What? No! Take it? Oh, do I have... I should disinfect his cuts. Okay. I guess I thought I could take them all at once. <laughs> nope, go through the door, love. You're gonna hate me now. I'm gonna disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. It's gonna sting like a fucker. Just saying. Oh, Mr. Tough Guy. Oh. There. At least it won't get infected. Tell me I can do Thanks. more than that. Tell me I can get more instead of just one thing. Okay, good. What is this? Drugs, right? Like painkillers. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. Okay, I want to see what the other ones do before I do this. Necofrin 100 antibiotics. Administer to combat infection. Not bad. Okay, what does the last one do? Paraphenol anti-fever. Administer only in cases of high fever. I think he should take the antibiotics, maybe? Or the painkillers. Let's, let's go with the painkillers first. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. <sighs> We disinfected, so hopefully no infection, and then painkiller. Here, take this. Here. Take this. It should do you what some good. It? What it's is it? It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. Three? Who are you, Dr. House? I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. I'm going to take a shower. All right. Let me help you. To the shower? Okay. Uh, am I coming with him? I'll wait here until you come out. Let me know if you need anything. If he comes out. <laughs> Don't make the shower too hot. My boy, otherwise you're like fainting. Or, oh, talk to me. 
That way I'll know if you pass out. What's your name? Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? Somnia? No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask me why. Whenever I get too exhausted, I, uh, I come and spend a night here. I'm... I'm just passing through. Mm-hmm. Okay, he has no food. And what else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. Profession? I'm a photographer. Ooh! I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. And you? I... I'm an architect. So he is. You okay? Is he okay? It's so quiet. I don't like this. You okay? Okay. Thanks for staying. I feel a lot better now. Good. Okay. I better get going then. Want to have coffee sometime? <laughs> By the way, you never told me your name. Ethan. Be careful, Ethan. Whenever I hear the name Ethan, I'm thinking of even Ethan Winters. Okay, the, I know the box is under the bed. I don't know. Oh my god, he looks so dead. Architect of Sorrow. He's gonna be out for a day with all those pills. Oh my god, he should take some, some rest. He should be go sleeping. God. The boy got a pee, right? Whenever we play, <laughs> whenever we play Ethan, we always have to take a leak. <laughs> okay, flush. Wash hands. Wash hands. God, that flushing sounds horrible. Okay, I cannot wash my hands. My boy doesn't give a damn. He never washed his hands. Okay, we shaking. We shaking bad. Okay, now trial number two, right? Oh god, he's scared. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son, the old power plant? We're, we're going already. Oh, God. He's gonna get himself killed, isn't he? Wednesday, 4.26 p.m., 2.074 inches. Oh. You okay? Why didn't you shoot? Sorry? Well, back there, Nathaniel could have had a gun. Could have killed me. Why didn't you shoot? I prefer to have all the information before I make a decision. I try to make rational choices when possible. Oh, come on, you had a fraction of a second to react. You could have whacked me before you had time to move. Aggressive, ironic. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were a tough guy. A street cop who's been through the mill. I didn't think you'd scare so easily. Why don't you fuck off, Norman? 
Oh boy. That's him. Who? Who's this guy? Another suspect? Miroslav Korda? Yeah. Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Don't just stand there, he's gonna get away! Ah! Hey man, watch ah! it, dude! Sorry! Oh. Coming through! Hey! Ah! Hey! Hey, watch it, man! Whoa! I couldn't- oh! It was so shaky, I couldn't see what kind of error it was. Whoa! That was a bad moment for a freeze game. That was a really bad moment for a freeze. Hey man, watch it! <laughs> Stop that guy! Got him! Oh, didn't get him. Don't you be throwing fish at me now. Hey man, what's your problem? Oh. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, 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 ice. Chickens! <laughs> Holy my chicken! Oh, oh chicken everywhere! <laughs> oh no, that's creepy. Piggy was moving. Okay, I don't know if I can walk around this thing here. Maybe this way. Oh, oh shit! Oh crap! Oh ow! Succeeded. Oh, no, 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 Did I get him? Where have you been, huh? This time it looks like we got our origami killer. Why? Nah. No way, that's the origami killer. I doubt it. Okay, we're back at Scott Shelby. Wednesday, 7.28 p.m., 2.244 inches. Oh, boy. Mm. No. <laughs> nope. Mm. <sighs> what do we have there? A bottle of scotch? <sighs> Is that my office? <sighs> no, no. We know drinking. What's in there? No! Oh, oh. Can I open? Can I? Hang on, I wanted to take it out. I don't really need that right now, I think, but okay. I thought I'm gonna put it in my pocket. <laughs> I thought I'm gonna put it in my pocket. What's in there? My gun? Can't hurt to have the gun.
Why are you tapping it so weirdly? <laughs> So dark, I can't see. Is it a batch? Alright, what's this? Raining. Am I looking for something specific? Asthma? I can't breathe with this goddamn humidity. Hope it stops raining soon. Fatigue? I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. Okay, there's two reasons why he would be. First off, he's so emotionally invested because he had a similar experience. Like maybe he lost his child or something. Or we have our origami killer right here. <laughs> Just spitballing. Obviously, don't don't answer that, guys. It's not a question. I'm just like guessing along here. What's this? Me sitting down? All right. Oh yeah, we moved it two meters from one chair to another. <laughs> Can I think thoughts? Investigation. I've seen the parents of all the victims, and all I've come up with is this telephone and a box of origami figures. All the newspapers are talking about Sean Mars, the kid who disappeared. Okie dokie, what else can we do here? Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think I have to sit on everything in this room. Anything cool here? <laughs> I'm busy. I've been aw man, I wasn't I wasn't done looking around in my office yet. Oh shucks. All right. Close the room to the main door. Oh, that's my bedroom. Never mind. Sorry. This this way. Oh. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Yeah. Can I come in? Sure. Sure. Down. Please take a seat. Didn't really expect to see her again. No, me neither. Wonder what she wants. All right, ma'am. How can I help you? Uh, I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. <laughs> Yeet. It looks exactly like the letter that Ethan got. It was mailed in the Carnaby district. The day before Johnny disappeared. Ellen Winter. Oh, oops. Oh my, could you? <laughs> oh, nothing particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Wait, I wanted to turn it around. I wasn't done yet. Thank you. Well, thanks for your help, Lauren. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. Diplomatic. Clear. Firm. Diplomatic. There's nothing you can do to help, Lauren. 
It's not a good idea. Believe me. It's also dangerous. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Pointless, dangerous. It is dangerous. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lauren. <laughs> I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? Say yes. <sighs> We're partners. Nice. Can't hurt to have another set of eyes looking at things. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. Even to the loo? Seriously? Here's some privacy. Hello, gentlemen. What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wig tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. And he might have the answers? Yeah, I want to look around a little bit. Lauren? Stupid to bring Lauren. I don't do partners too well. All that just to get my hands on that stupid envelope. Right. Security all over the place. I would say Gordy's just a little bit paranoid. Security guard earned his payoff. Seems there really is a party going on tonight. Okay, let's go inside. We're not really dressed for a party, but we'll see. Oh boy, it's that kind of party? Gotcha. <laughs> what a joint! Kramer must be loaded! What do you think he paid for all this shiny crap? We'll discuss Kramer's decor another time. Yeah. Are we gonna be here long? This place gives me the creeps. I'm gonna go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back, okay? Okay, just let me know if you need me. Okay. Um. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Thirsty? Well, I'm here. Might as well have a drink. No, we're not drinking, no. Okay. You gotta find Gordy Kramer. Okay. <laughs> I can think the same things uh, thoughts all the time. Music. I don't know why they have that goddamn music so loud. There's a party. I can't hear myself think. Girl? Hey. Good looking girl. Keep your mind on the job, Scotty. <laughs> uh, fine. Hmm. Not gonna be easy to find Gordy behind that big wall of paid gorillas. Booze, babes, and coke. Gordy Kramer seems to be quite the party animal. Is it down there? Can I talk to anybody then? Doesn't look like it. Okay, but then I'm moving on. I thought maybe I can have a conversation with people when I'm sitting down. And they're like, hey, baby. You know. Good. Well, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm looking for Gordy. Have you seen him? Okay, he doesn't really do talking, I guess. <laughs> so, who else can we talk to? Hi, I'm looking for Gordy. You know where he is? I saw him a while back, but you'll be lucky to see him. He rarely hangs out down here with his guests. Oh, really? Why bother throwing a party, then? Why don't you go ask him? You never wanted about that? Okay. You okay? 
I really don't like this place. Did you find out anything? I want to get out of here. Not yet. Not yet. Gordy's a hard man to meet. Well, I'm going back in. Hang tight. <laughs> OK, we're not having a drink. No, 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 no. Uh, Detective Gordy, pass. Excuse me? Nobody allowed upstairs. Aggressive, persistent, by. Look, here's Mr. Franklin. Says I should go up. You talk so crazy if I shove that wallet down your throat? Beat it! I ain't for sale. How about this guy? <laughs> if I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. Excuse me. I I'm looking for Gordy. I saw him going upstairs a while ago. Okay, so you got me up. I'd be surprised if he comes down again this evening. So we just need to find another way upstairs. Are you okay? Hey. Whoa. You see that guy over there? Oh. Do you know what he said about you? What'd he say? The bastard! Ah, oh, sort him out! You motherfucker! Oh, oh, oh. Party fight, party. Ooh, nice. I did it. What are you talking about, my brother? You big monkey in a cheap suit? You think. Oh, you think you're a big man? I'm a bigger man than you. Ah, you just go. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, monkey, I'm talking to you, you big ace. That was easy. What are you <laughs> saying about my monkey? You die. You get violent with me, my little friend. And you, you know who I am? kind of like the idea of two different set of scenarios happening. And look, <laughs> I, I walked up all these stairs. I need to sit down. Um, with like the monitor being split like that? Yes. Okay. Sometimes I get these micro starters, makes me a bit nervous. Hey guys, welcome in. I guess he's through there. Balcony? Ooh. Oh! Hmm. I don't think there is gonna be much here. I don't know. Oh, maybe that is. Oh god, maybe that is a way to hide later. <gasps> maybe I have to hide because I I just snuck past the security guys. Where does this one to go? I can just look in there. Locked. Maybe I can break in? I don't know if I should be doing that though. Can <laughs> I go in here? Okay, for a second I thought this is a body bag. <laughs> Mr. Kramer? Shh! This is the best part! <laughs> he has two babes making out next to him and he's My watching name a is cartoon. Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Maybe we should come back later. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! Oh, he talks to the girls. I thought he was talking to me. Bye, girls. 
What do you want? Factual accusing. Let's be factual. A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw it. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? Skeptical, sarcastic, aggressive, skeptical. I don't know why, but your story just doesn't check out. You're giving me the crap now. Tell me something I can't believe. You gonna hit us? Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on the chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? That's what everybody knows from the paper. This interview is over. Oh, security Get rid product. of this clown! Oh, oh, oh! oh. <laughs> Am I freeing myself? <laughs> Ooh, in the balls. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Bam! Oh shit, that was the wrong button. That is the right button. <laughs> he really likes the fight. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. Is that a threat? You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. This guy's giving me the creeps. I think he's a weirdo, but I don't think he's the actual killer. <laughs> he really is a weirdo but i don't think he is the killer i think that would be too convenient too easy i don't think that is it wednesday 7 4 42 p.m 2.278 inches gosh this inches thing makes me so nervous the entire time <sighs> maybe i should have broke into the office or so. Maybe I could have, once I figured out that the door was locked, maybe I could have, I don't know, smashed a glass in and get there somehow. Come on, Ethan! It's no good. Okay, so we have to find another way. I think this side looked a bit broken down. Oh, butterfly. Maybe through here? Eh? Yeah. I, I did it though. What the heck? Was I supposed to hold it? I thought I was. It was tapping. Oh yeah, I was. I was supposed to hold it. I, it looked like tapping to me. And down we go. Oop. 
I wonder if I'm the only person who struggles with these arrows, especially when the icon for the arrow moves around in like like the chasing earlier with Jaden. I feel it's so hard to, to, to like determine is it showing up or down and stuff like this, so... Oh god, oh god, I'm gonna be fried. Oh no. Oh no. This is gonna be bad. Can I move this around as an escape thing? Oh no, no, it doesn't look like it. It's with the butterflies everywhere. Is that like guiding me somehow? <gasps> oh, maybe it is. I didn't see what kind of origami figure it was. Maybe it was an origami butterfly. So I have to follow the butterflies. I just want to look around a little bit before we go to the power plant area. Locked. Okay. Oh, man. I'm so scared of dying. I'm so scared of failing in this game. Alarm is armed 24 hours a day. Contact main security center for the instructions prior to opening gate. I don't know if I should be looking around or just like go straight for it. Okay. Ah! Seriously? I was doing good though. Is that scripted? My DNA is here! Ah, oh, that is bad! Did I fail or... I, I felt I was doing good. Oh god, now my DNA is here. That's gonna be bad. Oh, I don't like this place, guys. Rain and electricity together. Ugh. I feel very uncomfortable. Maybe I should be looking around. I see the butterfly there. But maybe there's more. Okay, so we go to the butterfly. I don't think there's anything here. You know, these big open spaces, they always seem so inviting to explore a little bit. There might be something hidden somewhere. I don't know. Okay, we're inside. Progress. Any thoughts? Trap? It might be a trap. I had better be careful. Mm -hmm. This is the old Pico power station. I thought it was abandoned. Obviously it isn't. Or maybe it is, and that's why they use it. What is this? What am I opening here? Oh, whoa, whoa. this is too easy. Why would I be doing this? Okay. I don't know what the circle is supposed to mean. What, am I just looking? I guess we're supposed to crawl in, right? Okay, I was just extra careful. Oh, oops, that was R1. <laughs> hmm. Oh, 
Holy shit, I'm scared. Do you have any thoughts? Feeling? Where's this pipe go? I've got a bad feeling. Oh god, you and me both break. What is this? What am I looking at? <laughs> what a dick. What a dick. Glass. Broken glass. Sharp as a razor. Impossible to go back. I'm gonna have to crawl through it. Oh slowly, my god. So I don't tear up my arms. Okay, but seriously, I would take my jacket off. I would wrap it around my hand and I would move the glass with the jacket out of my way instead of just crawling through in agony. <laughs> Maybe if I go extra slow. We need to follow the butterfly, so we need to go to the right. The match flame. It indicates where the fresh air comes from. All I have to do is follow the wind. Smart boy. Okay. Uh. 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 Ow. Uh. Uh. I don't like this. We really need to. Oh my god. Oh. This is so uncomfortable. This is so freaking uncomfortable. Oh god. I mean, yes, it would have taken forever to clear all of this out of the way. Okay, I understand now. The effort that the killer went through to put this here. What a jerk. Like this way. Right? Am I right? Did I do wrong? Why is it giving me this in the middle of nowhere? It's not as bad if I go slow, I don't know. Oh. I don't know, Ethan, maybe 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 just turn around, go to your ex-wife and suggest you make new babies. <laughs> just make a new one. Two, if you want. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Feels like such a waste to turn it on for like one, ow, one second and then, you know, just shaking it off again. Slow and steady. But I see an exit and it looks like I don't need to crawl through it anymore. Hopefully no more glass. Why is the killer such a sadist? Like, why? Oh, shit. Through the air? Oh my god. 
I don't know if I want to do this. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Right. I guess I don't really have any choice. Oh hell no. Nah. Oh hell no. Nah. Oh that's, oh, sorry, I was confused. L1 and R1. What, do I let go? Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Oh god. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh, ah, ah. ah. What am I steering? <gasps> oh shit, sorry. Yeah, failed, failed. Quick time event for standing up. Oh god, guys. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh my god, I have to get through this, don't I? Oh shucks. Do not touch. This boss is gonna make me go down there, right? There's the butterfly. I have to get through this. Oh my freaking god, no way. Anything I can do? Can I turn the shit off? How amazing would that be? Oh man, no. <sighs> Coward. Oh, I can leave and don't get the clue. Or I can go through here. Okay, so obviously we're not a coward. We're here to save our kid. Oh god. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. R1 this. Okay, I did it. Okay, first done. What is this clicking? What's it clicking me? Oh my god. We're doing weird electricity yoga here. Oh. Oh. tried I maybe this one this one looks better okay that was crazy like I couldn't bend my fingers that way oh holy shit Okay, that looks manageable. What about this? No, we take this one. Okay, R1. L1, easy enough. So far. Oh, what? Oh, well, that one. <gasps> oh God. I, I didn't know it was tapping. This is holding. This is also holding. And now I have to button mesh? Ah! 
Okay, so the arrow means hold, and no arrow means button mashing. Man, I wasn't sure I didn't know that. Oh, freaking hell. This way. So we always go the way where it's not... Where no electricity is visible, right? So anxious. What if I die here? Maybe this way? I don't know. I don't know if I'm making any progress here. Way that I just came. Did I? I just came through here, right? Oh man, I don't know. This looks difficult, though. Why not head first? This is way more complicated. Push, 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 push. Now what? I'm totally going in circles. Yeah, I went in circles. Dang it. This looks nasty. But so do the other ones. This is just going out again, right? this I guess but it does look like I'm gonna hurt myself here oh downward facing dog yoga holy shit <laughs> Ugh. I don't know where to go guys there's a bloody butterfly but I can't go this way not directly, so I have to go this way. We've been here already. I'm, I'm literally going in circles because I don't know where to go. God, I'm getting sweaty. No, this is the one that I failed, right? Oh my god. Guys, I don't know how, where to go. I thought this looked fine. So I take it that these ones that you can literally see the little lightning going through, those are out of bounds. This one just roasted me. No, this is just going backwards. So stupid. I literally, I can't see a path from, from the wide angle. Like, I wish I could see where to go. But from the angle, I can't tell. Like, it looks like from the middle, you know? From the middle there's a path, but there's so much flashing, I can't tell. Where am I looking? 
we go through here? This music is stressful too. If I can make it one up now from here in this direction, if I can get behind this, then it looks a bit like I could just go straight ahead. I'm not I'm not sure about it, you know. Let's try this. Okay, I'm gonna go through here and then I go to the right. Hopefully that's gonna work. Freaking music freaking me out like this now. Jesus. Ah. Shit! Oh my god. It just, it hurts. These hand positions hurts. <laughs> Don't make me button mash, no anything. Ass. look too hard. That looks manageable. Okay, and now can I maybe just go straight ahead? This way? Oh god, all of this looks like a pain in the ass. Oh god, please! That. Was that like a hint? Don't do this. Get electrocuted big time. Come on, move it, Ethan. Move it. Move it! This crawl sucks. I want to be back in the car. The car was way easier. Things you do for kids. Is this it? Is this it? This is it, right? Oh my god. I think I did it. If I got through here, that is. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? What? Am I letting go and he's jumping through? What is this? Woo! Parkour! Okay. <sighs> Can I turn this shit off? Oh, there's the clue! There's the clue! Take it, take it, take it! <sighs> oh, this is so cruel. Roosevelt? Roosevelt. Something, something, Roosevelt. Right? Roosevelt something? Oh man. So how do I get out of here now? All the way back. <laughs> That'd be horrible. Okay, for me, the biggest challenge about this was to figure out the path that I need to take. 
Wednesday, 9.06 p.m., 2.346 inches. Okay, we're back as Madison in the motel. I wonder what happened to her that she has insomnia. Oh. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> Are we gonna take care of him again? Oh god, from her perspective it mu must look so sus, right? Guy's always in his room, super bloody. Come on, big guy. <laughs> yeah, we should take those dirty, bloody clothes off. Ethan. Ethan. Can you hear me? Okay, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Arms look really bad. I need to disinfect your wounds. I hope I still have to infect stuff. Oh, oops, holding, sorry. Fever? You've got a hell of a fever. Okay. Are those burn marks on your chest? Maybe. I'm gonna have to get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. Come on, big boy. That looks horrible. It must pain like a bitch. Those are serious burns. I don't know if I can do anything for you. Maybe stop poking it. Does that hurt? <laughs> okay, let's go to the bathroom and see if we can find anything in the uh, medical cabinet thingy. Oh no, I'm just leaving. Bye. Where's the bathroom? Here. Yeah, take take it all. Take everything. Just like Yep, yep. Let's go. I'm no doctor, but I'll do what I can. Disinfectant medicine, ointment, bandages. Disinfect first. I really hope I will have enough to, like, take care of him for every of his trials. Oh. Your wounds are disinfected. What about the other arm? In. Definitely anti fever. No, no water to wash it down. My goodness, it looks bad, right? Oh god. Okay, any other medicine I could give him? Painkiller, antibiotics. I think I should still give him antibiotics, maybe. Painkiller, sleep... I don't want to give him sleeping pills, because... Th time is of the essence here. Let's give him antibiotics. If I knock him out with sleeping pills, he's gonna be angry at me, because I'm wasting his time. Maybe? Maybe? <laughs> 
Where are we gonna put this? On the chest or on the arm? I don't know what the ointment does. Maybe you can put it on everything. Oh. Sorry, I'm stupid. I'm using anti-burn ointments on your cuts. Oh shit, that was anti-burn oh, I I didn't know what it does. Sorry. That should ease the pain. I didn't know, I'm sorry. Okay. Let's put some bandages all all around you. You gotta look like a mummy. <laughs> sorry. Oh, st we're still doing it. Oh, oh, it had to keep doing it. I didn't know. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Round and round we go. Round and round we go. We ring around the rosy. Okay, now we good. How handy that he has literally everything he needs in his medicine cabinet in this motel. How convenient. Right? <laughs> Okay, big boy. What do I do now with you? Oh, bandages around the chest, too. Okay, good. That's all I can do. How do you feel? Like crap? Ethan? He's unconscious. Now I'll just have to wait. And hope he wakes up. She honestly, she should probably call the cops. Or, oh, the box is still there. Am I gonna snoop? Or she should at least call an ambulance. Oh my god, he's shaking. Oh my god. I mean, for all she knows, he could be a fugitive. He could be. Horrible person who's killing kids, right? She doesn't know. How do you feel? Not so good, I guess. I've been better. Was I out for long? About three hours. Why the guardian angel act? You don't even know me. I wonder the same thing. No choice, memory. Memory? When I was a child, I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. I, uh, I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. Okay. <sighs> you said you were here because you're an insomniac? Truth, light, evade, truth. I, um, I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. It's the kind of stuff you prefer to forget. I do what I can to live with it, but uh, it's not easy. Danger, explanations, problems. You have problems. You, um, you got some kind of a problem? Bigger than you can possibly imagine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be asking you questions. I mean, after all, we hardly know each other. You have no reason to trust me. Well... Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Help? Maybe I could help you. No I... No one can help me. You've already done a lot, Madison. Right. I'm gonna go. Take care. I think she kind of likes him. But he's emotionally unavailable at this time. <laughs> uh, 
anything else I could- oh god. We should maybe go and get some new clothes. Isn't it gonna look sus when we're walking around all beat up like that? The water's gone? Oof. And then we're also wearing bloody clothes. I gotta be looking sus as hell. Stay. Must must stay on my feet. I don't want that girl to get involved. No one must know until I find my son. I'm coming, Sean. I'll find you wherever you are. I need to get going. I've already lost too much time. Okay, okay. But if you die, you're not gonna help your kid either, you know? <laughs> Can I pee again? <laughs> no. For once, when Ethan goes to a toilet, he does not have to take a leak. Why are you turning around like this? Go and... Okay, next clue. So two clues down. Third. The lizard one. Are you prepared to make a sacrifice to save your son? 9711 Marble Street. A sacrifice? As in... Killing somebody? You have unlocked a new bonus. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed oh, nobody. No. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ash? Okay. Okay. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. Oh? It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something, something in his eyes, as if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection, but the next day, there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Find my son. I'm begging you. Oh, shit. Oh, now they're gonna hunt me down. Oh, no. I'm Police Lieutenant Carter Blake. This is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. Reason shrink, convince shrink, insist with shrink, move shrink? Reason. It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, doctor. I'm sorry, I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate for your own sake. Insist, convince. I know you don't want to protect a murderer. If you know anything, you must tell us, doctor. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Calm, Blake. Blake, that's enough. Let's get out of here. What? I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. 
Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The Link. only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So you're gonna be a good boy and tell me what I want to know, or I am really gonna lose my temper. Link, stop that immediately. Let go of me. You, you have no right. <laughs> Jesus, Blake, chill. <laughs> what is wrong with him? <laughs> Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. Can Share I please choice? Can I please stop him? No right, threaten. You have no right to hit him. I'm saving a kid's life for Christ's sake. No, you don't. You don't like it, Lee. <laughs> oh, no, no, enough. What's up with you, Norm? Are huh? you getting cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid. I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like. So you're going to stop this shit right now. I'll get you for this, Jaden. Don't worry. I will not forget. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. Feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. Shit looks really bad for us right now. Like, really, really, really bad. Ugh, freaking hell. Oh, man. Ash, but I don't I want believe you to it is every Ethan. available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. We don't know that. I, I doubt that still. I want to believe that it's not him. I don't know why my colleague is always flying off the handle like this. Thursday. Okay, we're Mr. Shelby again. I'm always thinking of Peaky Blinders when I hear the name Sh Shelby. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Oh. Would you care for a coffee? Yes. Oh, no thanks. Oof. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. Mm, okay. God, this is gonna be... This is gonna be bad. The balls are in that basket. All right. No. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Whee! Well, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. I was doing pretty, like, you know? I thought I was doing okay. But he was... He was not hitting it, he I'm was I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just striking. to play golf, Mr. Kramer. Oh, I hear you've been Kramer. asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way.
Was that better? My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. And you know that Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. We're in circles here. Then with he doesn't have respect, to fear. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shelby, mm -hmm. and I pay very well for loyalty. So? Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? The name of the origami code. I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. Oh, he's angry. I think both of these are not it. I don't think it's Ethan and I don't think it's Gordy. I think it's somebody else. Thursday, 7.47 a.m. Oh, halfway through with the inches, guys. Oh no. Now the downside is everybody and their mom is looking for me. I should probably get a different car, new set of clothes, maybe facial reconstruction surgery. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is the sacrifice one, right? Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat up stuff. Something inside? What? Why did I break it? I thought... Hmm. Can I just break them no matter what? Okay. I guess I'm just smashing all of them. Uh-huh. This is what it's supposed to sound like I get. Yay, I got a key. Okay. And I'm not supposed to destroy any more of these, so... I guess this is the only thing that we've been looking for, the key. Let's go inside. Gosh, and I thought my flat is a dumb. This looks like I mean the, his 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 house where he was living after the divorce and Sean's death. Oh my God, what's gonna happen? We have to watch television. That's real torture. Okay, before we do anything, let's investigate, look around. Maybe we can find something in here. It's gonna be useful. No, no, no. Knowing Quantic Dream, I could die. GPS? A GPS on the table. 
Could you please, for the love of God. There you go. <laughs> okay, he has no more thoughts. Just blank. Let's sit down. A GPS. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward. Anything else I could do? There's a medicine cabinet, but I doubt there's anything inside. Really? Can I just put it back in? It's like, no, I won't do it. I just want to see if there's any. Oh, what's this? Alcohol. Can I put it down on the table? Okay, I'm I'm preparing for everything. You have four minutes and thirty seconds left. Maybe some kind of bandage? So I won't bleed to death? What's this? Oh! Okay, take it. Put it down. Oh wait, no. Take that. I'm gonna heat it up. So I won't bleed to death or what I, whatever, I don't know. Oh my god, move a bit faster here. Oh. Okay, we put you that- You have four minutes Yes, I left. know! down Okay, anything else like a bandage or something? Okay. <laughs> I wanted to wash my fingers or something, but goody. Okay, I have time, I have time, I have time. The music suggests otherwise, but I have time. What's this? No thanks. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I don't even know what this is. You have three minutes and 30 seconds left. A saw? Maybe I can put that on the table in case it doesn't work. Just in case. Okay, that will be leaving. All right. I guess I have everything. <laughs> okay, first, alcohol. Over the pinky. Oh, drinking it. I wanted to put it over the finger. <laughs> Another. Okay, can I put it over the finger now? Come on. Third time's a charm. Can we put it over the finger? <laughs> okay. Good. We all boost up. You have three minutes left. Is this sharp? Oh, breathing. Okay, just breathing. Do it! Ha <laughs> ha! 
Go to the hot iron. Go to the hot iron. We're not done yet. Okay, pain, pain number two. Under the desk. <laughs> Imagine we would have just had the option to kneel down and look what's under the desk without fucking cutting our fingers off. God, I hope I did everything that I could. Don't swallow it now. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, how, how sadistic to make you look at it too. Roosevelt something. Roosevelt Park? Roosevelt Road? I don't know. nasty it's so nasty why why oh. torturing yourself like that sheesh you have unlocked a new bone oh my god and now madison has to patch him up again <laughs> oh man this is nasty That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal, is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. that girl doing there? Marsh comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. Booty cam. Can't go up here. Sorry, sir. Can I just... Oh, oh, oh. Mistakes were made! Oh, there you go. <laughs> Can I just go in there? I want to look at his car. Is there anything interesting that I can see from there? Just that he's not in there. I guess we go in here. Or we could just walk over the road and go to the cops. She's going inside. Maybe she lives there. Oh, well, it's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. What's he up to in there? Wait for a go on my word. Okay, I have to find another way now? Oh crap. No! Oh god. 
hurry, 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 hurry. Move it. Come on, there's enough space. What? I was doing the thing, come on. Yeet. Shit! It's too high. Oh, come on. Can't you just, like, push the couch there and then top over? All this time. Wasted. Ready on my go. No. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door hold your positions. It's a go. Oh shit. <sighs> Just smash it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Come on, let's go this way. <laughs> Legged. Go, 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 go! Nobody's here. We're gone. <gasps> hey, you, don't move! I'll shoot! Come on! Quick! I can't. Hands in the air! Shit. Lieutenant, there's a man and a woman exiting the alley. A woman? Shit! It's that girl who went in! Everybody downstairs! They're in the alley! Follow them! Oh, there. There we go. Okay. The subway. Yeah, to the subway we go. This way. Oh, freaking camera! Not now! The camera just changed the control. Oh no. Where to? Where to? He's gonna have a panic attack. He does have a panic attack. Right. Ethan, Ethan, what's the matter? We've gotta keep going. Ethan, Ethan, they're coming. Down there? That's the goal? All right, straight ahead, let's go. I wish these people would just fall over if you touch them, like in the, in the dream we had. This one is out of order, can we just like walk through? Oh, I don't know where, where I need to go. Oh, okay. Careful! Hey! Sorry. Out of the way! Watch where you're going, Whoa. motherfucker! Hey, watch it, man! Please! Stop or I'll shoot! Yeah, shoot. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh, God, I'm so on edge. What, we going down? No, we're not going on the tracks, are we? Oh, shit, those people are in the way. And we're not going on a... <gasps> Maybe I have to. God. Quick! Ethan, quick! It's gonna hit us! Oh shit, that was a bad idea. Bad idea. Dead. 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 We dead. We dead. Maybe it's gonna separate us from... Come on, pull him up. Pull his ass over! Whoa. We gotta get on that train, Ethan. It's our only chance! Which one? 
Oh, there you go. Bye. Haha, <laughs> that's so hard. You, you can't really prove that you're that that he is not Less him. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. I don't think it's him. I really don't. I brought some food. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. You're a sweetheart. Absolute gem. She's the goat. Help? Why are you helping me, Madison? You know nothing about me. You could have been killed. I don't know. I guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. You needed help, I helped you. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? Break, evade, confide. It's like trusting her and telling her things, right? Confide it in information? I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm... someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards... is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I would love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. Nothing else matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. It's so weird how chill she is about the whole thing, right? Are you the killer? He's, he's telling her things and she's like, uh-huh. Why are you hurt? <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. I think I'm going to take a break here. This is wild. I think... I don't know if I should... Like, the game right now is strongly suggesting that it's Ethan. But I still don't want to believe it. It is too easy. <laughs> and it doesn't really make sense. I forgot what time frame it was. It said there's eight victims. This would be the ninth, I think, Sean now. And I think it's been three years, but, but Jason died two years ago, right? And ever since then he has blackouts. 
if I understand and remember correctly. That doesn't really fit together, I think. I don't know. I'm not I'm not sold on it yet that he really is the killer. It is this possibility some things are matching, some others I'm like, mm, I'm not sure. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt and think it's not him. But we'll see, we'll see. <laughs>